Hey guys, it's Kyle with uh, Anastasia's River, and today I'm going to be siphoning gas from a tank that's in the front of the boat. Um, I need to flush out the tank because there's some old gas in it, so I'm going to be putting fresh gas in, siphoning that through, and I need a some sort of a pump to do that because I don't like getting you know, gas in my mouth and the vapors and it's pretty, pretty gnarly. So I'm going to show you how to create a, a siphon pump with nothing else other than a old plastic water bottle um, and some compressed air. So it's, it's, it should be pretty quick. Um, and it's a it's a cool tool that you can use for a lot of the different pumping applications and it's pretty pretty strong if you do it right okay so we're gonna be using this old water bottle that I found in the yard so this must have just blown in or blown out of the trash cans one day um, I'm going to use this water bottle an exacto knife just to make a a cut in the bottle and use this 1 8 drill bit to drill a hole in the lid and I'll show you what that's for and some hot glue just to seal anything um, if, if we have some some leaks but that's that's pretty much everything that you're gonna need oh and uh, compressed air so I've got my air compressor here with my just little air valve and that is everything that you need in in here there's a tank I'm not sure how well you can see this I have just a primer bulb I have a primer bulb just sitting there in between in line with the fuel and I thought that I'd be able to easily just squish the fuel through using the primer bulb but that's proving to be more difficult um, than I want to deal with. So, I'm going to put a fuel filter where this primer bulb is. I'm probably going to put the primer bulb in line with the fuel line right here. So, right here, I'm going to cut and put the primer bulb in line here because you want the primer bulb to be near the tank uh, for priming. So there is a fuel line that goes all the way from that front tank that we were just at, goes through the fuel filter, continues on in a line down the keel in the base of the boat all the way back to that fuel line right there and just for right now I had it dripping into this little container but as you can see it's pretty gross in that tank that's that all black gas came from that front tank so that's why I have to clear it out and do this in the first place is because that's the nastiness that's in that front tank so what we're gonna do is continue um, and then place our siphon over this fuel hose which will then siphon the gas out of the tank and we'll dump it. For this part you take the cap of your water bottle and take your drill bit drill a hole and then once I get through, I'm going to bend the plastic. I'm going to bend one side down and one side up to create a kind of little Venturi valve. Okay, so now that we are through, see the little hole right there? Eighth inch drill bit, little hole. Now I'm going to use my X-Acto knife 
and I'm gonna clean this up. So you'll see that burr sticking up, I'm gonna clean that off. And now that that's cleaned, I'm gonna use the drill bit, but I'm gonna use the other side of it. Not the drilling side, but the, the, kind, the side that you put in your drill. And I'm just gonna put that through, and then bend the plastic. So, taking the drill bit and then kind of prying it inside there, what it does is it'll lift one side of your hole and kind of put a depression in the other. Just like that. So you see that little dimple? And then you have on the other side, it's kind of pressed in. That's what we want. So now, you can take your air. Turn the camera a little bit, a little bit more. See that? So if you take your air and you blow it across that hole that you just made, not in it, but across it, it creates suction. You see? And then if you blow the other direction, it'll expand it. So then, just to show you again, you can just like that, and then so now that we have our pump, because essentially that's what this is, this is a pump, I'm going to cut a hole in this back side, place the fuel line in it, seal it with this hot glue, and then we'll just be able to siphon out the gas. You gotta love science, it's really cool stuff. The, f the fuel line is approximately the size of this little dimple on the bottom. Probably be easier if I drill a pilot hole first. So with this pilot hole, now I can go, because this, this, this blade is pretty dull. I don't know what Laura's been using it for. And that'll be way too big. Way too big. But... I think with the glue with the glue we should be able to seal it so I'm gonna test fit the fuel line in the bottle oh yep and it, it tore We'll just pry that outward instead of inward so it won't tear anymore. And we'll just put gobs of glue. And then whenever we need to empty this bottle, you open the cap, you dump it. Okay, I think our glue gun is warmed up enough. Make sure it's nice and sealed around the rubber hose. And then we'll get the other side. I 
and gas may dissolve hot glue. I'm guessing it does. So you'll just have to be a little wary of where the gas leaks and all that kind of stuff. But that looks pretty good for sealing. Okay. So now what you can do is you just take your compressed air and you blow it across the hole that you put in there. Okay, so we created a siphon pump using only a water bottle and some compressed air. Uh, we were able to pump a little bit of gasoline from the tank all the way down. All in all, I think it was a, a great success, a good use of an afternoon. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. Tell your friends, you know, that, that whole spiel. And I'll see you uh, next time.